So how did we come up with the idea of the heater? Well, our first product, the air multiplier fan, was a fantastic success and we wondered how effective it would be at heating people as well as cooling people. There are a lot of products out there, a lot of heaters, but with a lot of problems, so potentially unsafe to touch, don't have high airflow and don't project the heat very well. And we knew we had the opportunity, as well as a lot of challenges, to address this with our new technology. The development of the air amplifier geometry for the Dyson hot fan is critical to ensure that we heat the room as fast as possible. The velocity projects the heat across the room and the flow mixes the hot and the cold air in the room. Once we have the room to the desired temperature, we want to keep it there, but using as little energy as possible. The machine senses the air temperature in the room and only turns on when the room temperature drops below your desired temperature. Some of the tools that we use are computer simulation, we actually use a lot of mechanical methods as well. So we mould parts in clear so that we can pass smoke through and also even attach bits of wool so that we can watch the airflow and make sure that we optimise all of the geometry and get out all of the inefficiencies in the system. Now, this product has taken us two and a half years to develop with the help of acoustic motors, fluid dynamic experts all participating throughout. We've had a lot of different facilities that we've used as well, with some poor people in environmental chambers at zero degrees and five degrees, making sure that our performance is optimised at all the ambient temperatures. Two and a half years of development, hundreds of prototypes, thousands of hours and lots of engineers involved, and we're now introducing a new category for Dyson. Very exciting.